Uh, hey. uh -huh. Technical problems, like every professional streamer. It's like <laughs> not that far and from the bunch. Me into right move for some reason, and I'm like, I'm not working right now. I don't need to look at properties. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, so Dan, you can never leave work. Ah, oh, look. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mine started. Okay, we are live. Yes. Okay. Right. Let's uh kick it off with uh, uh a what do we want a recap of yep where we've I'm got back. to uh, and what we're doing who we are. So I missed. I missed a, I missed a few minutes of that. Yeah, so um, I missed a few minutes of that. I set my settings got uh, knackered, but now I'm back. No, it's okay. Like literally, uh, as you logged out, my my roll twenty logged out and logged into <laughs> right move for some reason. Uh, yep. Yeah, so amazing start, guys. Good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let's uh, smooth uh, into a uh, uh, recaps. Uh, See. Yeah. I've just seen if it um, fixed it, but and no. And we are I'm all here, no right? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> just a quick look at yeah. Discord. One, two, three, four. Yes. Yes, we are. Brilliant. Okay, so <clears throat> from the top, uh, we can do some recaps. Uh, okay, so I get a count in, or... Um, are we going to do the what? Count in for the record. Oh, uh, well, we've already <coughs> passed that, but... Oh well, I was I was offline. I'll start mine then, okay? Um, and started. I said it was um, it was gone off. Yeah. Uh, no problem. Three, two, one. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I've just uh, welcome already. Welcome to Lethal Ethos. This is uh, the the uh, uh, campaign six, six, campaign. six. Uh, episode one for for me and and a few other people were recording. So episode one. Uh, we don't have a name for the campaign yet because we haven't naturally got to that stage yet, which is fine. Um, okay, from the let's start with Nosha and have a bit of a back like what's happened with Nosha. Then we'll go f f with VG, then Tim, then Helping Hands, then Chris, and and um, introduce who you are, what you're doing here. So so who who you are, who you're playing, what you're doing here. Um, yeah, just as, as much as you like. Um, so, yeah, Nosha first, please. Okay, well, um, I'm Stephen and I play Nosha, the bugbear totem barbarian. Give us a ping. Uh, us a, give us a can ping. you not hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can, oh, right. we can hear, uh, hear you, but so ping. Uh, well, this one. There, there you go. go. There you go. There you go. Nice. And um, last session, uh, Nosha had a, uh, a nice, enjoyable time murdering everything that came near him nice just, uh, basically his entirety of last session was just running about from goblin to goblin uh, uh just, just in a complete rage and uh chopping people up <laughs> and we can see last session on your on your youtube yes you're l uploading that so you can see it there yes it's uh, processing at the moment uh, so i don't know how so, long yeah. it will take no worries it's just for people if they want to go and see it cool um, sweet. Okay, VG, who are you? Who are you playing? Okay, um, VG is VG. Uh, the character he plays <laughs> is called Necromy Cadabras. Yeah. Uh, and he's a Veldalcan war mage. Uh, he's very proficient, very professional, very serious. Uh, his sense of humor is extremely dry, and he's this... Tall, uh, bald, blue dude who wears heavy armor, <laughs> strangely enough. <laughs> nice. Um, any highlights for him for last session? Uh, the epic battle between the two mages that was going on until he was rudely interrupted by some <laughs> uh, barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, give your token a ping so everyone knows who you are. There you go. Me? Yeah. They nice. It's it's that guy from Blue Man Group. Yeah. <laughs> no. Nice. Um, cool. So Tim, you're up. Who are you? Who are you playing? And give us a bit of a highlight from last session. I'm Tim, and I'm playing the Moon Druid 
attack Redfire, the guy who was half of the session a bear and was half of the time being a bear clawing uh, goblins and the other half um, eating them. Yeah. You know how it goes. I love it. I love the nope, fact that you nope, say nope. clawing rather than like cutting them to ribbons, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> Smacking uh, them in the face with yeah, a giant yeah. ice, ice bear claws. Crazy, yeah. Uh, okay, brilliant. and yeah. he, uh, yeah, and the other half of the time where he wasn't a ice bear, he was. He couldn't be one because why are the tunnels so small in here? <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, and to... yeah, yeah, brilliant. Okay. So helping hands. Yeah. Who are you? Who are you playing? Hi. Give us a highlight from from last session. Hi, I'm a. S I can't click. I can't double tap for some reason. Right here, I'm a Stell. This one. Yeah. There ping. You go. Yeah. Ping. There you go. Yeah. Cool. I couldn't ping it for some reason. No rose. Hi, I'm. I'm. My name is Helping Hand. Well, in my Discord name, <laughs> and I am here. I'm playing the character Stell. Well, just right here. <laughs> He's a Tabaxi. Group with tattoos on his arms. Mm -hmm. He's a tattoo artist with a lot of other stuff going on. And he last session he was gathering heads to make sure he did a job well done. Gathering and putting heads? them in the pile right over here. Yeah, but gathering whose heads? The goblins' heads. There you go. <laughs> Information, guys. It's uh, you know details. <laughs> no rose. And Chris, who are you? Who are you playing? And uh, highlight. Or, yeah, from last Hi, time. my name is Chris. I'm playing the character Sunny. Give us a Sater Bard. There you go. There nice. You go. Uh, Sater Law Bard. Um, and yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the highlight or rather downside of last <laughs> session was he got sick of. Uh, a frankly extremely delicious meal which he feels really bad bad about um and then he got shoved into a goblin massacre <laughs> because his friends decide to run forward and he doesn't want to leave them behind <laughs> and what uh, what sonny's view on uh, <laughs> the situation being shoved into <laughs> well frankly he's especially worried about his fr dear friend Estelle being <laughs> Uh, uh, almost appearing deranged for a bit, <laughs> at least in his <laughs> eyes. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, and uh, I'm Dantra Sphinx Goldheart. I'm the dungeon master. I play everybody else. Um, yeah, welcome to Mythos, guys. Okay, so we'll zoom into uh, what's just happened. So uh, literally, uh, you've just um, massacre is a, a light word for it, but. Uh, Let's go with massacre, massacred, genocide, genocide. Um, the <laughs> your way through a bunch of goblins, uh, oh. finishing up with the demise of their appears to be leader, who had a, a nice robe, um, and you are literally doing a, a sort of like the wrap up or aftermath of this. So we are out of um, initiative order right now, and yeah. Um, Take it away uh, from here. Um, yeah. Um, and everybody, for their intros, gets a fake coin each for each of your characters. All right. Yay. Um, Mr. Goldheart, I would like to know very much what things this mage has, because you started listing them last week, and you then... We um, got cut off because we had to finish and such and such and so. Quickly, yeah. Uh, I usually like to leave a bit of time before the end, but last time we ran on a long time anyway. But yes, uh, we can go over the loot, what you found. Um, yes, so on uh, the actual mage himself, he has a robe of magic, magic missile, which grants three uses of three free uses of magic missile per day, and you need to. Oh. Uh, recharge it. Um, All right. Also is it attunement right? or not? It is attunement, yeah. Okay. Um, it, he also is carrying a scroll of teleportation. 
Didn't he try to use that? He had several, so he has two left, so two scrolls oh. of teleportation left. What a piece of shit, slimy dude. Yeah, well, I mean, when you don't build... Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> he also has a scroll of elemental... Um, what would it be? Uh, mold earth, Invocation? Mold, mold, Conjuration? Mold earth, mold earth, I think. Oh. Um, uh, uh, not, not a scroll. What would it be? Let's say rod. Rod of mold earth, yeah. Um, okay. Which grants the wielder the ability to mold earth uh, when he's holding the uh, rod and attuned to it. Mm -hmm. um, and let's say... Three minor health potions. Cool. And um, what's it like? Twenty gold. Let's go that. Yeah. That's from the their leader. And you haven't searched his room yet. So, but that's just what was on him. And you haven't searched the pile of like treasure yet either. So. No. Uh, although I had a twenty-three arcana for investigating stuff. Yeah. So you found a, a shield. Plus one mad, uh, um, plus one shield, in in the pile. Oh, that that is mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That one. is mine because that is my thing using shields and having high AC. Well, everyone else is not there yet. So yeah. Uh, well, you you saw that with your magic um, detection skills. Uh, so you saw yeah plus one shield like was highlighted. Also a plus one dagger. All right. Uh, there's, there's Someone things, else can have that. They're the things that um, ping on your arcana, um, and then there's mm -hmm. um, other bits like um, normal splint mail armor. Oh, um, I already have mail, that. But someone else wants that. Yep. What was splint mail again? It's one higher than chain, chain mail. It's heavy armor. Oh, okay. You can have it. <laughs> I already do, but well, well, if well, no one well, else wants well, it, I'll, I'll sell it. Well, well, the other thing is, you guys haven't like arrived there yet, so this is just the information, and then I, I, I will let um, let your character um, tell everybody what you found. So, so let me finish listing what you <laughs> find, and then you can you can role play divvying it up, or whatever. <clears throat> so then you have two other normal daggers. You have one claymore. Uh, so like a double-handed. Uh, sword. Uh, and you so, also have a uh, great sword. Uh, great sword. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you have two, like two, mm, finely crafted. So they they're actually in a case. Um, ne like lay laying alongside each other. Uh, do you have any way of picking locks or anything? Yes, I am proficient in thieves' tools. Would you like to try and do that, or or what? So, so, For sure. So, what you see is a um, a fairly large um, red uh, case in a pile. All right. Yeah. I will try to pick that. Um, if it calls to my attention, I will do that. It, so even the lock itself has uh, magic on it. All right. But, yeah. Um. I guess no, not at the moment. I couldn't do that right now because I haven't had it prepared. Um, but you can have that and uh, unlock it whenever you want to or attempt to. Um, so yeah, a large red. Okay. It, it At nice. the moment, it's I will very... just take it and put yeah. it in my exactly. backpack. Exactly. It's very nice. Uh, it's almost like polished redwood. Um, looks very, very ornate. Uh, and the lock in the middle, and then it's got like catches on, like on the sides of it. Um, I will call it the Big Red Box of Treasure. Yep. That, that's a, a good name for it, sure. <laughs> um, what languages do you speak? I speak uh, Common, Dwarvish, Elvish, Orc, and Vidalcan. So, none of those. So, it's got some script on it. Um, okay. Uh, which, even the script itself is a bit... Uh, has faint magic aura on it as well yeah. i speak goblin if there's any goblin around here it's not goblin nope well uh, but, but, yeah, so, uh, so that's that's what you find in the the treasure so then you guys can do a bit of role play of you guys 
getting to the end and seeing what the treasure is and gathering heads and stuff, you can do that now. Uh, you can do a bit of free roleplay uh, because there's no combat going on right now. <laughs> I'm still going to walk over to Sunny. Okay. And say, come on, we, let's go catch up with the others. Sure. Okay, Walk, fine. Walking through the bloodbath. <laughs> uh, I'm tiptoeing. But actually, I've got hooves, so I'm very, very carefully. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Tiptoeing should work, right? <laughs> I, I think you tiptoe on hooves. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like sure. And just yeah. walking around, walking through. Okay, <laughs> so as you walk across a bridge, um, do a perception check, both, both, both of you. As you're walking across oh, the yeah. bridge, yeah. Just, just a perception check for me. Eight. Don't worry about it. I am, I am preoccupied. You are very much not, not, not caring for the bloodbath. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Estelle? Uh, don't worry about it. Keep doing what you did. <laughs> Estelle is just staring like, what the? Let's look, are, staring around like. You both are preoccupied with whatever else you have your thoughts on. <laughs> I was wondering what else they can find. Yeah. No worries. Keep going. Yeah. Estelle goes, sees you guys up here and says, hey, what'd you find? I uh, just woke up in dead now. <laughs> well, I, I found this heavy armor, but I don't think anyone else has any use for it except for me, and I, well, already have that, so I'll probably sell it. Mm. Uh, then he proceeds he proceeds to show off like the two daggers and the great sword and uh, the other dagger which is the magical one the plus one and he goes this one is enchanted that would be interesting may I have that one mm, okay I guess you have more need uh, for that than me uh, and I toss him the plus one dagger yeah okay, let me add that real quick so it just looks slightly more fancy than the other two daggers. Uh, I mean, you, yeah, it's a magic dagger. So. Dagger plus one. Yeah. <laughs> I I could also use it, but it doesn't matter to me because you know <laughs> magic. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you've still got two other daggers. Great, great sword. Innate case. Yeah. Um, uh, now I have three daggers. I can start throwing them if I want. <laughs> three daggers too. So, but uh, you've also got the rod of uh, earth, moving mm -hmm. earth. You've also got what the other bits that you got from the robe of magic missile. Yeah, robe of magic missile exactly, and the two mm -hmm. teleportation scrolls. Um. Yeah. What about the chest? Can I? Does any of my languages I know be able to translate them? Um, does, do, Fiji, do you show the chest? No. In case, whatever. I, I will be keeping it on my backpack. <laughs> then not, not because know. of, not because of anything, but because I'm afraid that if someone, some, someone, because you said it's magical and I recognize it's magical. Yeah. So it most likely is trapped. And if anyone tries to mess with it, it can be dangerous. So I will first dispel magic, then I will mess with it, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, it's up to you. That's why I wanted to list the items for you, and then you can decide what to do with it from there. Um, cool. Um, you also notice... Oh, I will also show the the normal shield, the quote-unquote normal shield that I found on this pile and not the magical one that I had alongside oh, you, with you me all the time. swapped it with you. Is it? <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh I mean, Nosha was stood there the whole time, but sure. <laughs> um, just, uh, Nosha's just stood there. He's leaning against his um, great axe, you know, heads on the floor. He's leaning on the shaft. Yeah. Blood uh, drying on his fur. And he doesn't look interested in, like, these magic weapons. He says, uh, well, if there's gold there, we can buy better stuff or better food. Uh, I don't fancy if these goblins had something good, they'd have used it against us. There is some uh, coins on the floor from where I can see. I don't know yeah. how, how well that translates from map to real world, but, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, that's where the 20 coins are. 
uh, 20, 20 gold. So he had 20 gold on him, and then, pff, I don't know. Oh, uh, fi- okay. Uh, let's go 50 coppers in the pile. Yeah. Okay. So I will take the 20 gold and repay uh, Mr. Fack. And that's it. My debt is now... Uh, I now debt free. The dream of every American. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Twenty five gold. Cool. Uh, no, I've already ga- gave you five uh, last session. So now it's twenty, and now I'm giving you twenty, and now it's zero. <laughs> I gave you five last session. Don't you remember that? Nope. Yes, but I, I did. <laughs> Um, you, you just want to you just want to keep you in debt, I think. No, I have no idea why I didn't write it down. Well, this is because you the goblin leaves. head. This is why you should keep. Probably was the goblin head then. I think it were goblin heads, right? Which were worth five gold. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not when they've not been handed in, but sure. Let's let's keep going. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um. Anyway. Yeah. Um. So. Um. Upon arriving in this last chamber, you can see there's a door behind you. But, well, um, yeah, where the main guy came from. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to say he left it ajar because he came out in a rush. So, yes. Probably. Estelle's going to run over and check it out. <laughs> so, the first thing... Be careful. The first, fi- the first thing you see is the door is um, very well hidden. It looks like it, uh, the door like has... Like a layer of stone on it, but it's like fa- it's like a fake, d- fake, uh, a-, a fake wall. Um, and you can see um, to your left, um, Estelle, there's like a um, uh, a brazier that's been pulled. Um, it looks like it's something to do with the door mechanism. Um, yeah, but sure, you go go ahead. Because it's been left open, so yeah. Estelle takes a small step in. What's your? Okay, are you just gonna go in, push it? Yep. Okay. Yep. It it opens. What do I see? Um. So you see um, what looks like a, a bed of some sort, and very little else. I'm gonna roll an investigation check in the room. Okay. Uh, Necromi, Estelle, Estelle, where are you going? <laughs> Stop running uh, away! <laughs> Stop running uh, off the whole uh, the whole time. Wait for other people. Well, 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 well. That, that, I, I like the role play, but give uh, Estelle the chance to do this. <laughs> so go on. Do your investigation. My my idea was to try to help him, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, so t- tell us how you're investigating the room. I'm searching under the bed, look, hiding the so ground, hiding the walls. The yep. Okay, so you go to pick up the bed, or look under the bed, and you hear a... Like a fuse. Uh, and then a few moments later, uh, a fireball erupts in that room, and you are caught in a fire blast. Uh, dex save, right? That is a dex save. <laughs> yes, give us a dex save, Estelle. Oh, Since I'm course. practically at the door, should I also um, make one? No, or... it's it's very much uh, based on that in that room. Cat scared. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Why is it just plus one? It's a plus um, three. Plus, I guess. No, it it has the plus three included. You roll it at twelve. Uh, the plus one is bless, which I yeah. guess you're not blessed anymore. So which has uh, worn one. off by now. Yeah, it should have worn off. Yep. Sorry, I forgot. You just, that off. Yeah, you just have to unmark on your sheet. Okay, forgot to do that. No worries. So about fifteen. It. Wait, I'm just finding the spell that might it be. <laughs> I can't counterspell it. <laughs> no, it's very much um, you triggered the trap. Triggered the trap. Um, game rules, spell. Yeah, let's go spells. And then go 
Right. If it's a spell scroll, I'm pretty sure it's 15 DC. Or 13. Okay, so a, a bright flash. Uh, yeah. Uh, dexterity. Yeah. Uh, dexterity. So the 15 should save regardless. Yes. So you jump out of the room just as it explodes. <laughs> and uh, the treasure is gone. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you see what I singed. see what I told you. Like you should be careful, more careful about stuff like this. So I don't like gobos, little buggers. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not used to adventuring like this yet. I was going to try to help, but anyway. <laughs> he, well, he did. He did it kind of too quickly for you to notice. Hit the, you know. All right. Also, like it's lesson for Estelle. <laughs> uh, maybe tell us next time so that, like, uh, yeah, someone who knows stuff better than us can have a look first. Cat looks sad. Ah. You learn more by your mistakes than by your successes. <laughs> well, uh, Necrom, you will just turn around and go, Well, are you alright? Uh, isn't your fur. Sorry. Isn't your fur on fire or something? I check my, fi I check my fur. <laughs> you do look a little singed here and there. <laughs> yeah, a little singed. Yeah. Hang on, let me cl clean it up a little bit. And well, I, I know... suppose uh, prestidigitation works a little bit. Mm? Well, one thing I discovered in reading the notes of this foul, stupid magician uh, doesn't even deserve to be called a wizard. Uh, we have to fill the the center of that uh, fountain in the middle. Uh, something will happen when we do that. It might be dangerous, it might be not. Although, I still have to see something that will challenge me down here. And, well, do you guys have any way to uh, cast this? And he uh, shows the spell scroll for uh, creating water. Yep. Give me eight hours. And a good sleep. All right. But, yes. I mean, if it's a spell scroll, we can just read them. It's like takes a wizard to like copy them down. If you want to use it again, I, I know uh, a bit about the magic. It's not. It's uh, it's not on the wizard spell list. Create water, so I can't uh, copy it, and I can't. Uh, you know. Also, to copy it costs gold, and I don't have much on me. I could. Tactically, make it into a tattoo, but that would make you. It would just basically do the same thing as reading it. Yes. Hmm. Like I said, I need eight hours. You could also just use the spell scroll if you want to, because you have that mm -hmm. in your spell list. Even if you don't have it prepared, you can just right. use the spell scroll. But it's your choice. We could try it with the spell scroll. Okay. And if it's not enough, we need eight hours. But the big question is what happens? If it's something dangerous, we should prepare for it. Does anyone I'm, want to take a quick short rest? I am always prepared. Uh, and also... I don't remember, because I think the Mr. DM didn't tell us anything that would happen if we did this on the notes I of Mr. Goblin. Um, so, yeah, all you, all you found is... Is there anything on, the, on his notes? Um, I think that's where you found the, you know, the, something to do with the WoW, isn't it? Well, I mean, it was kind of pretty obvious, but yeah. Yeah. 
Um, so literally, it's it's a it's a a crude wizard goblin drawing of filling up the well, and then and then next to it, there's looks like it's a door opening. Oh. So, we do so, have a lot of bodies around here. We the, can like throw the bodies in and bring the water level the water up. You know. Uh, <laughs> this is not Necromy, he would not, not say this, but I think that's actually a good idea. That might work, I guess. <laughs> hmm. It still, quote-unquote, fails the well, so <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> but, uh, like, so Necromy why? will just say, well, if you want to do that, be my guest. Well, should we... Should we secure the heads first? Like, bring them up before we fill the well? Wait, weren't you doing that already? I have them all in a spot. I haven't, put them all, I haven't brought them all up. You see that red square? That's where all the heads are. Yes, exactly. That, yeah, that, why did you, you have to pile them up like the that? red square pile of heads where, from where he is. Why <laughs> did you have to pile them up like that, Estelle? Like... We like, had a job. It's gruesome I... as it is. Like this is just so much worse now. <laughs> Sonny, I th I think you might not be fit for adventuring, much less war. Yes, you are absolutely right. I'm not fit for war, and <laughs> not fit for slaughter. I guess as well. <laughs> well, I'm... I honestly can't describe this anywhere, anywhere I'm... else. That's what I'm goblins are for, that is, slaughtering. I'm certainly not pleased to tell you this, but almost half of adventuring is like war. Well, well, I guess I'll have to see. <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I'll bear with it, but I don't think I'll ever get used to it. No, Pack will bear with it. <laughs> oh come on, that was uh, funny. In any other given situation, I would probably laugh very much, but like, I'm not really in the mood right now. <laughs> well, come on, let's 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 think of what we need to do. Are we going to fill the well right away, or I suppose securing the heads is the highest priority. Not mm. sure walks over and starts um, decapitating any whole bodies that he finds. Well, please uh, move your token to do so. Yep, I have. Yep, it's just it's good to, uh, to see what you're doing and where you're doing it. Just in this general area. <laughs> I don't know which ones have the heads, or I can't remember which ones have the heads. So just in this general area, chopping heads. <laughs> I I want to kind of stand here and look around and quote unquote supervise well, what's uh, going on. So, but, okay, Estelle, before you go. Across the bridge. Um, can you all, like, everyone near the bridge, uh, do a perception check for me? Um, and also, uh, people who are harvesting heads, can you do, what would it be, sleight of hand or survival or medicine? Survival. Whichever one you want to remove heads safely. Safely. Uh, intactly. Oh. Um, yeah. Natural twenty. I, I'd say um, if athletics, since he's just like uh, bringing his Bring axe. Him off. Yeah. Um. Sure. Sure. So before you do that, well, let's just address uh, what Estelle's seeing before you go onto the ladder, uh, ladder rope bridge. Uh, you can see yep. the where um, where it's um, on on literally where um, VG is. Um, that there's ropes that look like they've been slightly cut, and they look like they're fraying a little bit. Uh, guys, the the ropes, they seem a little loose. We might want to only go on the, the bridge one at a time. Yeah. Uh, I cast sleep on the goblins uh, that were working on it in the hopes that it... Does anyone know the better. mending spell? I do. Cast the mending spell on the ropes. That should suffice. I cast a mending spell on the ropes. <laughs> and you do so, and it mends itself back together, and it's no, not a non-issue now. So, continue to harvest heads. <laughs> 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 uh, 
I'm gonna go have one person only go out at a time for for now, just in case. Because I haven't used that spell in a while. Well, Necromi, this is where I left the pile of heads I collected. Yes, do I do see that. you have a tally of how many heads you've collected, Esther? Or... Yeah, I did. Uh, so I had originally... So I had... Down up there, I had, like, every single head up there because I literally literally stayed up there extra time to do that. Yeah, so Which was 20. Yeah. G give 20, us a, I think. Yeah. Funny it like that, and there was I collected five heads on the way down here. <laughs> yeah, and how have you been carrying them? Or how just carrying in my hands, just in carrying hand. one hand, carrying one at a time, and putting them in the pile, and carrying another one in the pile because I'm not very strong. Okay, <laughs> uh, you said something about tying like heads to your belts or something. Yeah, my head to my belt a little. Just to, so I can put them in the pile. You know, just to give people a visual <laughs> of how you're doing it. Okay. Um, wasn't the most cleanest work, but it was my job, so I ha so I gotta get it done. Okay. It's just look like okay. <laughs> so uh, continue to harvest heads, or, or do whatever you guys are doing. Should we harvest these heads over here? I guess they're probably. Yes. Go ahead. That's Go it. ahead. Ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'm going to do sleight of hand, right? Uh, whichever trait you feel is necessary to the, I... for your way of removing heads. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when we were in combat, we didn't even need to roll, just... You know, kill the thing and the head come came off. So. <laughs> yeah, it is. You know. Okay, so uh, heads are collected. <laughs> so that's a total of this. The five up there, I collected those, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen heads down here. Yep. Uh, did you count the mage one? Yep. Okay. Cool. Uh, and you leaving bodies where they are, or what are you doing about the well? Let's uh, do that magic thing, and if it don't come up high enough, we can chuck the bodies in. Okay. I think that's, that's cruel, fun. a little cruel, even for my standards. Well, they ain't gonna feed. We came out here and cut their bloody heads off, and what, put chucking their bodies in water is cruel? Oh, fair point. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now there's there's a new thing here. Interesting. That that wasn't here before. Shh, leave that alone. <laughs> hmm? You don't know. <laughs> I you did. Know. I, I I was the one that entered this room. I saw this. Right. But last week it wasn't here. Hmm. It wasn't here. No. I wonder. Stop using your GM skills. No, it's not the GM skills. It's just for saving <laughs> I can see it. Everyone can see that. Well, I just have a, a, an excellent memory. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's do it. Should we do it? I mean, you have to get over here to do it because the scrolls yeah. with me. Also, the well is here. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> And... Okay, so Necromy is holding out the, the spell scroll in his hands still. And uh, you guys are sure that this is a good idea, right? No. No. Oh, God. That's exactly why we're doing it. <laughs> yeah, we'll bring something big comes out of it. <laughs> Wait, um, I call I dibs would... on the water. I call, di I call, I call it coming. going to be a water elemental. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Is everyone around me? Yes. Okay. Um. So I will deliver the scroll to Thak because he's the one, yeah. only one who can use it. And then I will go over here and prepare a... I will prepare a magic missile to hit uh, something that comes out of it. Okie dokie. Meanwhile, I, I cast if any enemy, on... If any enemies, uh, any enemy comes out of it, it's going to get magic missiled. Meanwhile, yeah, Sonny, I... you, you sure you want to... Oh, there you go. 
thought that was weird. This one is still not and tuck. Okay. Bless on all of us? Yeah. Bless on you three. Cast it at first level. Okay. Sunny, you're on top of me. Sunny, get <laughs> off me. I'm not on top of you. I'm in the, yes. I'm in the hallway. Yes, yes. <laughs> but why you are were... you in the wall on my screen? <laughs> I'm not. That's cool. <laughs> Okay. I would... Am I having problems? You might I, would... I don't know. Scroll. Restart your roll twenty. Maybe that's an issue. But um, cool. So, so what are you doing with your scroll? I would open it and like try to bring my magic into it. Yeah. So you so sex. So sex. Cast the spell. <laughs> You, okay. Uh, you do it. Yeah. Successfully. There we go. I got the word out. Um, um question. I lose a first level spell slot, right? No. 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 Using nope. the scroll. The scroll. All right. So you read the scroll. The scroll does the magic like that, uh, and then you cast it. So what are what water are you bending, or creating? What are you creating? Yeah. Bending. Uh, just... Creating. Sure. All, all, all of that. What are you doing? I just create 10 gallons of water in the well. Cool. I love the fact that it's... You, in the well, these are these are important details. <laughs> so you don't mm. flood everybody. Yeah. Cool. So, is that enough to yeah. fill the so, well? So what happens is the, the well gets filled up to the brim, and then the, everybody sees the stones around it, like, rotate clockwise. Um, and, then lo and then everyone hears a... <laughs> Like that, and uh, a door appears on, and then slides open here. Uh, Can I but, hear where it came but, yeah, from? So from you, where you all are, you hear a uh, like a. Like My a, passive perception is only fourteen, so do I really hear it? It's like echoes down the hallway, <laughs> uh, echoes down the. Uh, Sewer, I guess. Yeah. yeah, but everyone can hear it. Yeah, it's like a. Yeah. Okay. A, a uh, something is moving down that hall the way we came in. I thought like it was going to be a water. To be honest, I thought a water elemental was going to spawn when we poured the water in. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. what do we I was ready for get anything on. to just jump out. Oh, I should do you a mischief for getting my oops up like that. If you want to scout ahead, I will not impede you. Does anyone want to come with me to scout ahead? Yeah, sure. Let's see if there's someone we can kill. <laughs> I would follow. I'll follow as quietly as I can. <laughs> In other words. Dale's... Bit corpsey around here, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Door. Where's the stealth? Stealth. Yeah, so, uh, VG, as you mentioned earlier, when you first came into this room, there was nothing there, and then this door seemed to have come out of the wall. Well, 20 does not like me. <laughs> it doesn't like anyone. I've rolled a four and a six. Like, my streak continues. <laughs> well, what do you expect? I've got hooves and I'm walking on stone ground. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... If this door is open, can't we see what the hell is It's not open, on? it's just a pit, like, it's been revealed. Uh, that's what... Oh. Uh, that's what's happened. Um, because I, I, I saw... Yeah, sorry, sorry. So, it does distinctly look uh, like the same door that the... Um, wizard came out of. Is this door made out of wood? Um, from what you can see, it um, it looks like it's the same type of make the other wood door is. Okay. I'm uh, touching uh, it. That... Last time I almost exploded. <laughs> yes, it, that that is exactly my point. And Akrami will say, 
would you guys give me a minute? And he's g going to non cast, uh, not sorry, non stop cast Firebolt until it melts down to burning wood and ashes. Okay. So, so like two, yeah, two minutes like... of interrupted <laughs> Firebolt. That takes like like the first two hits of the firebolts and then it like catches fire um the, actually on the first one it does but anyway well well the, the first one knocks out the knocks out, knocks off the stone fake stone on the top and then the second one hits the wood and catches fire um so yeah i'm still <laughs> doing it yeah no. just bombardment of firebolts yeah it's kind of, it's actually what i do on divinity but it's... <laughs> 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 open the door. Let's just fireball it. <laughs> anyway. hey, you see, you're getting into the sort of it now, of Chromie. I thought you were stuck up, but you seem to be. Uh, uh, yeah, you seem to be uh, getting into the proper stuff now. <laughs> cool. So the door crumbles, and yeah. Uh, Necromir will just say, "I'm not being a barbarian like you. This is a tactical decision." Those doors were, and, and the compartments were trapped last time we encountered one of those. <laughs> Who yeah, needs I, I, rip, I ripped the door off and I'm a barbarian. You <laughs> burn the door off and you're being tactical. I get it. <laughs> Don't worry, I will, I'll keep I will, your secrets. <laughs> I will also cast a fireboat by this bed right on, on, side, on the side of him. I will purposefully miss him. You're hitting the bed next to him. Yes. Yeah, just to scare catches, him off. Catches and, yep. It's kindling, so yeah, goes up nicely. I, I just, uh, Norsha just grins yeah. at uh, um, Anna Chrome and say, Haha, see, I knew it. Ha. Estelle flees back and is like nervous, like, uh, Sunny? Don't yeah. push me, barbarian. So I said, I'll keep your secret, don't worry. Stop fighting. <laughs> I don't um, need to throw baddies at you. You can fight each other. Uh, I will. You guys him. okay? Like, please don't start fighting. It's... <laughs> I mean, we just, uh, we like, just enjoy the adventure. <laughs> please. Uh, so the door breaks down, and what do we see? <laughs> oh, if someone goes through the door, it'd be good. <laughs> I mean, if the door has broken down by the fire. Well, sure, but it's still an obstacle, isn't it? But, um, yeah. The problem, you seem to be able to look at magic better than I, or investigate things better than I am. Maybe you should go first. Go first. All right. And I will, um, before entering, I will check for uh, any traps and things that might be dangerous along the way. Uh, I'll walk behind him, yeah, and so, uh, I want to help him. You don't I want to help him. Yeah, no so worries. give him advantage. Well, not that he needed it, that's sure. Um, you don't detect oh, any enough. traps, but you detect distinct uh, magic of your own casting. <laughs> um, but uh, no, yeah, yeah, um, it seems to be demolished, whatever <laughs> the door was, was. Okay, and by this hall, uh, I can see inside of it. Uh, is yep. there anything? So you go, Is there? You go, so you can see down the other end of the hallway. Uh, so you can actually see the um, sort of like um, the opposite side of the door. So you can see like the wooden bit down here. So so it's like wooden slats and things. Uh, you will guys will hear from the inside. There is another door here. You're gonna be yeah. tactical with that one too. I was <laughs> waiting to 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 inform you guys of that. Once again, don't push me. <laughs> don't and yes, uh, same process. Just uh, firebolt it till uh, it so dies. This, this one actually catches on the first first bolt because obviously the stones on the other mm -hmm. side, so that one crumbles. Can I see anything? Oh, interesting. Hmm. Well, did, 
do I see this thing from where I am or not? Um, you do. Well, um, do uh, what would that be? Perception. You're Just kind of... line of sight, right? <laughs> So it's actually like, it looks like a, a puddle of uh, oil on the floor. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you can see that it looks like a pile of oil on the floor, like someone spilt some ink on the floor. Uh, and then it seems to be two piles of treasure in there. I'm still not sure we are safe, but it looks like this room is empty. There is all. I can see also some treasure ahead. Let wait. Let me roll something real quick. Okay. Before anyone else does something, I need to roll something real quick. Okay. <laughs> what are you it, rolling? Intelligence. Uh, why are you rolling intelligence? Because as soon as he says something treasure, something may happen. Nope. It sounds like treasure. Zoom. Go on, then. That was so cool. Go zoom in. <laughs> Oh shit! So what do you do? And you, I'm... So you see these treasure. What are you doing with the treasure? I still was looking at it, investigating, seeing and seeing like this might actually help our profits and maybe increase whatever our goals are. Yes, that's most likely a thing. So let's so let so let's let's grab as much as we can and get out of here. Seems like there's nothing else in here. Mm. Well, at least it's free from blood. <laughs> I like, will. Uh, I will look for any magic items first, and do I roll Arcana? I'll look over here and look for anything else too. Sure. So, um, Estelle, um, go back to just before the puddle of um, oil. <laughs> so uh, you go like walking through the oil like it's nothing. Um, and then we are... Can we have an initiative roll then, please? Um, yeah. Everyone. Yes, please. What? Estelle Nosha... is not, like, uh, the smartest person in this chat. It's fine. I mean, Nosha went around it, so... <laughs> it didn't trigger, but it triggered when you uh. stepped on it. So. My lack um. of rolls are keeping up. Just a seven. <laughs> <sighs> Look at mine. Uh, <laughs> gold, you, you could just press in it there also. Press what? Oh, I could have. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, don't worry um, about it. So Not sure doesn't have an initiative, though. He doesn't get to play, so... I did. <laughs> oh, you no, you don't. Know. You're not on the turn order. You don't have an initiative. <laughs> oh, so I see. Go on, man. You don't get oh, to play. <laughs> oh, well, if you don't want your meat grinder, I can just sit by counting the coins and the treasure. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm fine. I'm, I'm powerful enough to take this thing on my own. <laughs> All righty then. But, um, so as... Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> so the Black Pudding is going to get a surprise round. Um, first, and then we'll go by the order. Um, okay, so when am I going to get added? Like, get added now, right? There we go. What did you roll? Seven? Yeah. Ah, go ahead, go. Done. Uh, cool. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, attacking... Question, how long has it been since I've caused bless? Um, you more did, than a minute. You did it at the well, didn't you? Yeah. Yes. Um, Probably more than a minute. More than a minute? Okay, then oh. you don't have bless anymore. Yeah. Can I that off? Can't take it. <laughs> cool beans. Um, okay. Um, let's see what fun things this can do. Wait, you didn't read the, the the sheet? I did, but this was last week. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, like after the session finished, I'm like, right, do this, and then forget about it. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Uh, right, we're gonna do uh, actions. 
Yeah, it's gonna attack you. Six. Six to hit. Uh, it, it probably has a bonus. Plus five, so six, eleven. No. <laughs> so, not yet. So, as you step on it, um, is it the name? Um, what's that do? I will do that next time, I think. Yeah. Um, so, literally, um, you stepped on it, and then it came came alive, reached out for you, uh, you jumped but you jumped back, um, and then we'll fall into the initiative order now. So, uh... Can I, can I still, can I still do something real quick while, while it's happening? No. Okay. Your, your... No, thing like, no, you like did, attack, was, say something. The thing that you did was jump, jump her back. <laughs> I wanted to say something, but okay. Well, it, your turn's literally coming up after the crummies, so... You can say that. But, um... Okay, so is it my turn? It is your turn, VJ. Yes, please. <sighs> okay, do I recognize this? Uh, okay, so I I see this thing trying to attack Estelle, like forming into something and trying to, uh, I don't know, cl uh, bash it or whatever, right? So, so what you saw is it kind of reached out to Estelle. That's what what the attack all right was, so, yeah. uh can i do any sort of check to recognize what it was and, or what can. it is it would be something to do like nature or arcana maybe uh whichever you prefer i will go with arcana because that's why so, i'm yeah so so you <laughs> yes. yes that so... is exactly what i'm good at <laughs> exactly well, so you tell us what that means so so yeah, so, so you tell us what that nat 20 it was. <laughs> okay, so uh, I will say that I've seen this thing before, and you guys should not... Okay, so let me get my voice on. Mm -hmm. Do not slash it. This thing is, is one of the enemies I've encountered before. This is dangerous. Uh -oh. All I got is slashing. <laughs> well, do something else then, because you can't slash it. You just can't. Um, who does it hurt when it slashes it? Sorry, what? Who does it hurt when you slash it? Uh, first, it hurts, hurts you. You take damage. Then it splits in two. Oh. Which is oh. very much what we don't want to happen. Oh, God. Yep, I agree with that. I agree with that. Can you poison it? Uh... Yes, yes, you can poison it. Okay, yeah. Okay, uh, and then I think that at this point... I don't know if I should do that or... I think I will cast Scorching Ray at it. Yeah, it seems seems like the logical thing. Um, God damn it! God fucking damn it! Eh, okay, not not that bad. So Necromy will uh, open up his book once again and almost on a whim. Uh, from uh, he uh, raises three fingers, and from the three fingers, kind of like the three rays of fire come crashing down this thing. But he kind of misjudged the distance, and uh, two of those kind of hit here and here, uh, and one of them hits, I guess. Wow. I, I mean, unless his AC is lower than nine and ten. Yeah, it, it is. Oh, goody! <laughs> then it hits! Wait, it is? All three, all three of them hit! It's a big, oh, uh, wow. it's a big puddle of oil. <laughs> so, uh, well, I don't know. Some big puddles of oil have AC, have high AC. That is true. That is true. Uh, so, this 9 is, plus 8, 17. 24 fire damage. 
24 fire damage. Okay. Uh, so, uh, not only do you do the damage, but it actually ignites a little bit. Oh! Now it's oh. worse! What did no, you do? Not exactly. Not exactly. It's it's ignited, but I don't think it does anything else. You know? No. It, it just Unless the DM is pulling shenanigans. It just what you like talking about? It's it, on fire! <laughs> it just looks like, um, yeah, like it's, it's ignited. Is what's happened. Um, but okay, you do that see, is my turn. You do see where you hit, like, the it, like, sizzled uh, away from the fire and then caught light. So, yeah. Um, and just before Estelle's turn, um, McCromie, do an intelligence check. Just to... Okay. to Yeah, you can tell that this is not acting like what you've read about, or wherever you got hmm. your arcane knowledge from. So it's different than the thing I fought in my world. Correct. Okay. Or at least this one is acting different to what you know. Okay. But yeah, um, Estelle, it's your it's your go. Estelle's like seeing all this like awesome awesome like the thing comes up like ah and then there's like three fireballs right in front of him like oh crap and he's gonna like try to focus with his mind and use Tulsa's mind Tulsa's mind whip on it okay just trying to focus the entire time and not really having too much success mm -hmm. so it has to make an intelligence saving throw and if it It did not. <laughs> okay, I can only do an attack, a bonus action, or a reaction for its next turn. Okay. And it takes 12 damage, psychic damage. Cool. Already done. Cool. And with that, I'm going to make it choose, because I'm going to move away. <laughs> okay. Did it take any reaction on me? It did not. Is that you go? Yeah, that's my go. Cool. Sonny, you're up. Okay. Uh, I'm starting to panic a little bit about this thing. Uh, and I start to play a little disjointed tune and ca uh, cast uh, buh, 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 where is that spellbook dissonant whispers at it cool has to make a dc15 uh, wisdom save it does not okay and it has to uh, so, so it takes fifteen psychic damn that's that's nice. significant mm -hmm. amount and it has to move directly away from me uh, yes it has to take its reaction to move the uh, yeah. the most it can from you <laughs> exactly it yeah has to take that's its reaction so. reaction to move uh away from me as far as fast as it can okay. so I guess over here. And then it uses reaction, so Tulsa's mind whip, whip takes effect. Yep. <laughs> it can't Synergy. do anything its next turn. Yeah. Um. So, like, what do we do now? It's I've so, managed to chase it away. <laughs> <laughs> so you see the pie puddle of <laughs> oil, flaming oil, <laughs> go to the corner. Yeah. I've managed to chase uh, chase it away. Uh. Any ideas? Hit it really hard. <laughs> don't slash it. Just don't. Don't fucking do it. <laughs> He's gonna do it. Um, is that He's gonna do it. <laughs> if, you're fucking if you fucking must, uh, yeah, uh, if you must know, I have a cunning bonus plan. Bonus action. Bonus action. Mm -hmm. Panic. 
Um, <laughs> is that your is that your go? Sorry. Yeah, that's my go. Cool. Blackburn in doesn't really turn because <laughs> it got uh, tripped up, didn't it? <laughs> Not sure. You'll go. Okay, well, here's my cunning plan. I'm carrying my signature weapon, Mrs. Subdivision, which is the huge, <laughs> um, yep. huge double-headed great axe. Yep. Could I hit it with the broadside of my great axe? As in the, um, sure. It's like it's like a double-sided hair, so but so it's got a flat side. So could I hit it with the flat side? Sure. So sure. would you? Uh, would that be any? Would you? Would would I have to incur any deficits to do that, or can you just let me do yep. that normally? Asking. Um, your weapon's a normal weapon, isn't it? It's not magic. Yeah, it's a plus one, so it counts as magic for like um, uh, like uh, resistances and all that. Okay, okay. Um, sure, I'll, I'll let you do that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna rage out, mark down my third rage, run over. Screaming, finally! And I'm going to attack, make my two attacks using the flat of my... Of Mrs. How Sutton. much damage would that deal? Because... I don't know. I'm also going to attack recklessly. So that means I get advantage, but then the uh, attack also has advantage against me. So no, that's no, a 22... That's, that's not really what I'm worried about. So 20, I'm guessing both of those are going to hit. Uh, yes. Yes, they do. Uh, be six. I'll, I'll just roll a whole lot at once uh, into one big roll. Uh, that, so that's it's... what I'm worrying about. Like, would, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to roll bludgeoning damage, but would would it be effective at doing bludgeoning damage? Like, I mean, you're not. Uh, hey, hey, I was told not to slash it. This is my only option. <laughs> so uh, we trying to... I don't think Nasha really cares that much about that, does he? <laughs> no. I mean, you yeah. have javelins, but all right. Uh, this is his weapon. So, uh, 22 uh, damage with the flat of uh, Mrs. Subdivision. Yep, cool. So, um, uh, how do you want to do this? How, how do you <laughs> attack a puddle of oil, flaming oil, with your axe? <laughs> Uh, well, I just uh, if it if it's on the ground, uh, yeah. if it, is is it not standing up? Then it's just on the ground because it's, it's on like the ground, yeah, it's on the ground. Yeah. Okay. Well, I ju I, I just like overhand uh, slap uh, the oil twice with uh, the flap of my axe. Cool. So you, you run up and it, it looks like you're a toddler in a puddle, <laughs> and you slap mm -hmm. so slap flaming oil around. Um, yep. Sure. Sure. Um, well, so the flames I... die down, the, the puddle stops moving, and you're kind of covered in oil. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah. Frankly, I was picturing it significantly more epic than you described it. <laughs> you know, like, smack it on the floor and the stuff just scatters everywhere. Smack it about, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, just as a note, you are covered in it. <laughs> Um, and it burns a little bit, like, let's go with a bit of acid damage, 1d6 acid damage, because that's d8, so 6, six acid damage, but it doesn't That'd do anything free. that. Yeah. I'll be free since I'm raging, and if this thing's, this thing's dead already, is it? <laughs> it is dead, yes. Uh, but his uh, body is still his body. <laughs> Nasha just stands over it looking exceedingly disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, thank God. Th thank you, Nasha, <laughs> for taking care of that so quickly. Oi, Nakrami, I thought you said this thing was hard. And, uh, In my I take... world, they are significantly more tough. Being a, being a bear totem bugbear covered in fur, I'm going to shake like a wet dog to get the uh, oil off. But I guess I'm you weaklings exactly... couldn't deal with that, so of course the version of your world is significantly weaker. <laughs> uh, hey, well, I'm, glad that it, I'm glad that that's the case, then. Whatever it may be. Zach is disappointed that it didn't, he didn't even take part in this fight. That's alright. So, uh, what are you guys <laughs> doing now? 
<laughs> well, I'm going back to the treasure. Don't call me weak. And the spell goes over to the other treasure he was looking at earlier. Cool. So what are you doing to the treasure? I'm poking around it. So like, as at you it. poke it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, was it an illusion? <laughs> Uh, so, as Estelle goes poking around in this pile of treasure, it, it, your thing, your, 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 I guess, paws start feeling a bit oily uh, as the treasure around it all tries to attack you. So, Estelle, have you found anything? Oh my god, another one! <laughs> Would I be after it? Um, yeah, w w wait a minute, um. So, just need to do its initiative. Would I still be on my rage, Len, since that lasts a minute? If you spend at least six seconds not attacking something, your rage would be out. Uh, this mm. one's a new one, to answer your question. <laughs> but, like, it hasn't been that long, has oh, it? Oh, should I change to music? Um, you can do. Can, have you got a drippy, <laughs> drippy dungeon sound? <sighs> that right now is the dungeon. But a thought of more like music. a fight. Yeah, yeah combat sure, music. Sure, sure. Combat music. <laughs> okay. Are we at the top of the initiative again? Uh, so it gets a surprise round on Estelle, because Estelle triggered it again. That that <laughs> seems to be a theme. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. But after the, after it, are we starting at the top of the initiative, or...? Um, wow, well, it's kind of a new initiative, isn't it? Um, well, okay. Uh, yeah, so... so Kick everyone out of the initiative order. It gets its turn, and then you guys will roll your initiatives again. <laughs> we need to roll again. Yes, Even fucking better. <laughs> a natural one. <laughs> I still have not rolled over a ten. <laughs> um. So this one is going to be attacking. Uh, uh, Estelle, you need to, yeah. You didn't roll initiative, right? Uh, so, Estelle, when you need to roll initiative, you're gonna click on your token and click on init, towards for initiative. Okay. And then it goes to the turn order. Also, not sure, you know, you're out of the play because you don't have initiative also. <laughs> every time, man, every time. Oh, I see. Okay. Metropod hit. Yeah. So, uh, was that 10? To hit you? Uh, it depends. Uh, since it got a surprise round, was it hidden? Because if it was hidden, then it gets advantage. It was so, hidden, it's, yeah. so it's up to you. I'm going to say it hit you, yeah. Considering you, you dipped your fingers in it. <laughs> no! Yeah, so it hit oh, you. Oh, have you rolled it to the GM? What's that? I think you rolled it as a whispered roll. Oh, did I? Yeah. How uh, I... Yes. Yeah. How do I not see that? Uh, okay. Let me. On there the character go. sheet of it. Not that he has to reveal the the rolls up to him, but. But then we'd like to actually hear the uh, what the rolls were instead of. Uh... Mm. Right, so I click on my token, but nothing's coming up. Yes, because I deleted them. You said you don't want them. Okay, then uh, I'll just uh, I'll keep it as it is, Len. It's uh, 21. And, uh, you also don't got an initiative yet. It's not in the turn order. How do we solve that? Cool. Um, anyway, so back to hitting... Let's start. <laughs> 21 hit. Uh, and then the 
does. Eight. Bludgeoning. Whoa. It's really low on that. Uh, 17, yeah. You should see the other one. The other one was a crit. It was a crit, yeah. But, um... Um... Oh, it's not the, how, how does he attack me? Um, literally, so tendrils of black ink attached to you. That's what's happening. It's bludgeoning, so it just whopped you. Ow! Oh, crap. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we go to the top of initiative order, which would be. Oh, uh, 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 uh. There we go. <laughs> um, no, Sunny sorry. has the lowest initiative. Yeah, anyway. should go back to the top. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. So okay. that's. Um... Tired of this. Um. I think I will cast uh, Mind's Liver on it. Okay. Kind of shitty damage, but... It's a DC say, intelligence save. It's more than the average. Uh, <laughs> one more than average, but, you know, I was hoping for, like, 12 or something, you know? No, it, it failed, so... Uh, takes okay, eight, and he it. gets... Minus 1d4 on its next uh, save. Okay. And that's my turn. Nice. Okay, so Nosh is not going to rage out this time. He thinks this is just the same as the last one, an easy mark. So he's going to walk up to it and do what he did before, uh, give it a good couple of slaps uh, with the flat of his... Uh... Oh, there you go. So I'm guessing they're both going to hit. Yep. Let's see, it's going to be a different bonus this time since I'm not in rage. That's going to be okay, eight. For a total of 23. Cool, so it and... takes the damage. And uh, he just stands there looking expectantly. That's his turn. Um... <laughs> so, 2d8s. Right. 2d8 by the looks of it, yeah. Because he attacked it twice. Correct. So that's six acid damage on you. Okay. <clears throat> oh, crap. And uh, um, you look at your weapon. <laughs> actually, I there's a weird. I can uh, cut that damage down. With my uh, cutting words. Okay. So I use my. What do you say? I to use that? my. <laughs> I use my reaction at like Estelle, watch out. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Bardic inspiration. I just need to roll a d8, I believe. Fine. Uh. uh do I three. Take damage okay. That? Uh, you take three less damage. I'm just going to directly cut down the damage. Oh wait, this is on a attack roll, right? Oh, oh a damage roll. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, so you take only three damage instead. Who takes less damage? Uh -huh. Yeah. So I so to uh, add three HP, I guess, right? Yeah. Well, no, because um, I would, so that reaction was towards Nos Nosha, not Estelle. So, you oh, cast sorry, that then. spell uh, on the wrong person. You cast it. Well, <laughs> it's not necessarily... Uh, well, it's on a damage roll, so I assume I... Uh... It is on a damage roll. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, here's the thing. It's because you had to use it when Stell took damage. Now, Stell's turn has Zori... Oh, sorry. No, but, like, uh, I, I meant on the last damage roll that happened. Like, oh, it was would have been on Nosha, yeah. 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 So he takes no damage then. 
No, wait, no, he takes three damage. Yes. Mm -hmm. From six to three. Yep. Sorry, I... Uh... Yep, no worries. Were you raging when you were hitting it, by the way, Nosha? No, no, I said I wasn't ranging this time, because uh, yeah, okay. after so... the last time, he's a bit disappointed. Yep, no worries. So, yeah, three, da three damage on you in return for the damage you did. What? What was you saying about Mrs. Subdivision? Um, My weapon. So you see that uh, where it's been splattering on your weapon, um, it is burning, but it doesn't seem to be affecting your weapon at all. It seems like the magic is resisting the po the, the burning of it. Mm -hmm. That's um, good. Yeah. <laughs> is that your go? Yeah, that's my go. All right, Estelle, your turn. Okay, Estelle is like, and casts his mage armor on himself because he got hit again. <laughs> <laughs> so should I click that mage armor? Yeah, actually, because you've oh, hold on, oh, oh, you're not wearing armor. Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, you just click Mage Armor. I yeah. use Twin Spell with Mage Armor right now. Like, it only uh, costs one per point. Okay. So. I don't think... I don't think you can cast Mage Armor on somebody else. Yeah, a uh, one person. Uh, okay. No, I mean, even with can... even with Twin Spell, because I think it has the range of self. No, it has the range... Twin Spell has the range anything but... So. Okay. It's, uh, uh, so it's a touch going spell. Going back to... The top of what you said so can you twin spell uh magic armor so read both magic armor and twin spell for us uh, and, and better yet put it on the put it on the that's it ma magic armor and then twin spell please so we can read through it and actually see if you can do this you touch okay. a willing creature yeah so so the first the first bit is you're casting magic armor. So you touch a willing creature who isn't wearing armor. So that, that can be yourself as well. Um, uh, or somebody else. Yeah, so it doesn't have to necessarily be yourself. That's fine. Okay, so, um, the so then self. the meta magic, what does this say? Twin um, spell. You, uh, doesn't have a range of level, self. Uh, yep. You gain the ability to twin your spell. Uh, to suit your needs, you gain two of the following meta magics. Uh, so that's the meta magics. Um, go, go a bit to further to yeah, twin yeah, spell. Yeah, twin spell. Uh, when you cast twin uh, a spell that targets only one creature, and don't have, doesn't have a range of self, which, which um, it doesn't. Range. Yeah. It's just touch, not self. So that's where I thought it was self. I will, yep. I was mistaken. No worries. Uh, so so by the reading of both things that you're trying to do, I would say yes, you can do this. Okay, okay Nasha, since you're the only one with not armor, I'm gonna use twin spell and mage armor, giving us both mage armor. So how much Nasha armor has to be willing? I said you want to place armor and oh, no, armor defense or not? Uh, sure. Yes, mage armor replaces uh, unarmored defense. Um, so, uh, going back to mage armor, yeah, it, you touch a, uh, it, uh, a willing increases... creature who isn't wearing armor, uh, uh, a protected magical force, the target's AC rate uh, becomes uh, 13 plus its... Uh, it's the base, base AC, AC becomes... Yeah, right there. No, the no. base AC becomes 13, which would the... normally be 10. Yes, and its base AC is 10 plus dex plus wisdom. If you go to Sage Advice, you will see that Jeremy Crawford specified that if you use Mage Armor, you can't use Unarmored Defense because it overrides it. Oh, really? Yes. Well, so he get How much? Oh, so, so, so the that question one. Is, so, 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 so the question is, um, is um, Nosha, when, do you let it happen? I mean, unarmored defense is 13 plus dex, isn't it? Yes. No, so, you're uh, un your or no, no, defense no, mage dex armor, plus dex. Mage plus armor, yeah, yeah. Uh, so mage can armor put, 13 plus Can dex. you put um, yeah. unarmored so, defense up as well so we can have a read of that, please? Uh, well, it's... Um, uh, I don't know. I can't put it up on that. I've been it's dex plus constitution. 
Yeah. No, it's blo- it, yeah. So uh, basically, uh, very magically, my AC has stayed the same as it is. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Um, okay. Well. Yeah. So. Well, I wasted my time. Do you let me touch? Oh, you did. You looked very fancy doing it. <laughs> I am now, and uh, Nosha is now sparkling with magic on his fur. <laughs> cool. So you let it happen is is the point. Yep. Yeah. Mhm. Cool. And you, obviously, you did it on yourself, so no magic wasted. <laughs> Actually, some magic wasted. I don't know what you mean, Chris. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, it didn't make a difference, so for effective purposes, it was wasted. <laughs> hey, sparkles is never a waste. <laughs> Fair enough. Yes. <laughs> well, I co- uh, I agree with Dan. Sparkles is never a waste. <laughs> Arkham have... won't save you in the fucking war, but anyway. <laughs> of course, so since I'm not sure it's completely shellacked in uh, goblin blood, it's like red sparkles. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's quite a sight. That's for sure. Yeah. I'm going to roll an intelligence save and see if, to see if Stella realizes it, it didn't work like he thought it would. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Estelle absolutely yeah, knows like... it was pointless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Estelle's like, what? And then gets a little nod by itself. Why did that didn't work? Well, it did and he goes running back. <laughs> okay, cool. Estelle, uh... Estelle thought it would make him, make him be- have better armor. And runs back and goes goes back and like huffs himself. So as you go uh, running away, it's going to use a reaction. Ooh. <laughs> Attack of opportunity. Good job, man. Yeah, I'm not going to let this. <laughs> this uh... I didn't use Foster's caught mind whip again. Stell's going to die. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> I have healing potions. Yeah. You have healing potions? Yeah, I got one from the arena. Huh. So, um, it's just... So, so this is... See? Yeah. Told you. Yeah. Estelle is down. Oh, I'm God. down. 25. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wait, 20, 25 damage? Yeah. Yep, you had 24 health. Oh my gosh, did I get You're a crit? No. No. <laughs> no. He just rolled n- normally on his dice. A little bit high, but, you know, 48 normal. damage, Jesus Christ. No, no, 48 plus 1d6 plus 3, actually. Yep. Estelle just goes, Estelle's like, oh crap, and he starts running away, and then he gets smacked. Well, actually, you uh, cast your, your magic, and I went, Oh, that totally. Well, whatever you thought doesn't really matter because you got sideswiped by a bunch of black ooze, okay? And then it starts dragging you into it. <laughs> so that's what's happening. You're looking a little bit like Venom. <laughs> uh, oh, gosh. Yeah, so that's Ryan. Estelle's turn. Good job. Black Pudding's turn. Um, oh, no. What else? What other things can it do? <laughs> Well, right nice thing. Probably it's nasty thing, black pudding. It can, yeah, yeah. Uh, corrosive form. So it's going to start dissolving. Um, <laughs> well, it has caught, uh, which instantly takes off a saving throw, doesn't it? Two. Uh, two, actually. Two. Oh. Two. So it's going to attack a cell. It is. It is attacking. Huh. Oh, interesting. Is it in the book that says two? Because um, on the usual group I'm on, it, it, yeah, an attack is only one. It's a, it's a, it's a yes, melee attack, it... so melee attacks are crits. Yes, and crits take two. Hmm. Correct. Unless... That is very nice. We could have first... We're only just on the second session, and we could have our first like kill of the game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, because this monster isn't dangerous at all. Words I have no sure. diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> To me, it's not dangerous to me. <laughs> oh sure, let it let it attack you then. Um, Tank for us, do your job. I, I'm standing next to it, slapping it. What else can I do? <laughs> um, cool, cool. So, um, 
I'm bad. I think that's good enough for its turn. <laughs> I could do more, but I, I think won't. it's all that it can do, also. But anyway. Okay, that's me. Yep. yep. And Get in there. I'm going... They need you. <laughs> I'm going to move up here. Then I cast as a bonus action a healing word on Estelle. Okay, so what does that do? Can you pop it Is up? someone else on my sheet? I, like, it's all my a bonus stuff. action and it's 1d4 plus 4 HP. Cool. It's just a heal spell. Nice. So, you've healed 5 points. And I then don't... I cast Poison Spray. Okay, so on... just a moment. So you've healed him, but he's still unconscious. What? Why? Why? Because he got knocked out, so he's unconscious. And also, no. when when someone gets healed at least one hit point, it wakes up. Not in my game. Yeah. Okay. Then okay. He's unconscious. Okay, and poison spray. <clears throat> but he has five hit points, right? Correct. Okay. Then then it's okay. He has five. I guess. Yes, but he's still unconscious. Just. Do does go. his no. death saves reset or not? I will tell you when it gets to his turn. Okay. <laughs> okay, and exactly with what. that I cast poison spray. Okay. And you have to give me a DC fifteen constitution saving throw or minus one d four. Minus one d four, thanks. Constitution, yeah. Minus one d four? Minus one shift four, yes. So it fails! Yay! And it takes 17 poison damage. Poison, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm, yes, it does. Good job, Thack. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, now it's your turn. Okay. Sorry, you're up. Okay, seeing that Estelle is down, I run up to him mm -hmm. and cast uh, Cure Wounds at third level. Cool. Because I don't really have much else to do now. <laughs> Many more spells. Mm -hmm. Really? Nice. No, there's a couple more d8s to that. Uh, two more d8s. So it's two d. On top of that. <laughs> really? <laughs> there's there's the higher level cast over there already. It's I did. I seven. I cast it at. Uh, I yeah, did it. there is there like. Uh, Q runes five, and then up up top, up top of it, there's seven. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, I must. It's have... twelve. Yeah, it's twelve. Okay. Good. It's a little better. Yeah. <laughs> and that was a uh, little bit of my movement. Dan, may I? Uh, yes, my friend. Try to use the rest of my movement to like pull or act, uh, hold on to. Estelle, so that he doesn't get pulled more into the creature or something like that. You can certainly do that. Yes. Uh, would it be possible to try to pull him out a little bit as well, or yeah. would that be yeah, an action? Way, um, I'll let you do it because I don't want to be killing players right right, right now. <laughs> sure. I assume I have like one, two, three, uh, fifteen feet. I have around twenty feet more movement, so I could technically get in like ten feet. Away? Yeah, I think that's fair. If possible? Uh, yes. Like, I'd try to drag him here. Yeah, that, that's absolutely fine. So, as you pull in him away, uh, you do so fine. Um, so, Estelle's still got a bit of oil on him, but, uh, yeah. Your your yeah. healing spells seem to be uh, counteracting it. Um, but Estelle is still unconscious. Is that your turn, Sonny? That is my turn. Uh, you didn't yet, no. Okay. 
it's still still within the same encounter that I have planned for you. Button spending. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um. Yeah. So that is your turn, Tanya. Yeah. Cool. Well, of course. Uh. A lot of like, oh no, oh no, uh, yep, so... Estelle, wake up, wake up, Estelle. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Ah, you know what it is. Hey, mind slaver man. <laughs> no. Nope. Takes it. Even with a 19, it doesn't make it. <laughs> Wait, we rolled a 19? I it rolled a 19. <laughs> but they have, I think, a 1 or, yeah, probably a 1 in intelligence, so they have a minus 5. Yep. Is that the, it's not so you're bad. never gonna... You're not, not a... <laughs> it's alright. It's all good. <laughs> Cool. You have to roll a crit to make it. Yeah. Too much knowledge, man. Hit with your mind bullets. Then what do you do? <laughs> okay, minus one d four in his next save, and that's my turn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. All right, Nosha, you're up. Tack, you're welcome. <laughs> so uh, now that um, uh, Estelle's been dragged away, I'm going to step forward, uh, blocking. Uh, the route between the monster and Estelle, and uh, give it another couple of slaps uh, with my war axe. Uh, Great axe. 16 and... Uh, Great axe, yeah. So uh, I'm guessing the 11 misses, or does it? No, it doesn't. Oh, it good, they both hit. Yep. So that does that damage. Mm -hmm. But then you also oh. take acid damage in return. What was it? 2 oh, d yeah. Yep. So, 8 damage. Were you raging? Nope, not so raging. straight up 8 damage. Okay, uh, come on, you icon. And finally, after this whole battle's been going off, I am officially blooded. <laughs> nice. Um, so yeah, so obviously it's splattering on you, uh, and it's the same oil stuff that's corroding you. <laughs> um, and your weapon doesn't seem to be affected, but the bubbling, hissing sound is still coming off your weapon. It just doesn't seem to be corroding. Marvellous. Cool. Is that your turn? Uh, that, yep, that'll be the end of my turn. I uh, move to protect uh, my friend, and I have uh, continue the onslaught. Nice. So, Estelle, uh, you spend your whole turn waking up, basically. Okay, that's your turn. So, am I awake? <laughs> you or... are, so, you are awake on your next turn, yes. Okay. So, it, you've taken this turn to wake up. As opposed okay. to being straight back on your feet from a hill. Because, yeah. I want to, uh, you know... Getting down to mean something. <laughs> cool. Um, that's your turn. Black Pudding's turn. So it's going to... It's going to hit... Um... Not sure. Okay. I use cutting words. Could you use it on the attack roll? I can use it on the attack roll. Attack roll, ability check, or damage roll. Cool. And so, he has rolled 16. Yep. Minus 8. <laughs> <laughs> so, cool. So uh, it doesn't hit him. Yep. Like, stop that, you <laughs> fucking chippering <laughs> mess. Well, it wouldn't really know what you're talking about, but you'd probably warn Nosha that it's I'm angry. <laughs> nice. Cool. Sunny uh, is starting to get angry. Is he turning green? <laughs> not really. It's not really in more, his capacity. More green from, from the bodies. <laughs> um, okay. Cool. I just want to point out that if it wasn't for Sunny, Nasha would be down right now. 
just pointing that out. And still, this monster is not dangerous. Okay, <laughs> still not dangerous. I mean, I'm blooded. That's like a long way from being down. <laughs> okay, uh, he would have hit you for thirty six health. <laughs> I would go up. It's okay, um, Necromi. Point that out after the combat. Teach these newbies how to combat. Okay. <laughs> But uh, I put these in for a reason. So yes, uh, right. And I would here. cast yeah. Flame Blade, cool. creating this burning scimitar in my hand. Cool. So the burning matters, and so does the scimitar. Yes. <laughs> it's a spell attack. Yeah. And here comes. Up. Oh, I have to roll that one manually because. The spell don't draw. Okay. 24. Yeah, that hits. It probably hits. It, it certainly does. And that's 3d6. Fire damage. Fire damage. Fire. Just fire damage, not slashing. Yep. Fire does hurt him. So, yes. Okay. The damage sets him on fire. <laughs> that's the turn. Nice. Right, Sonny, you're up. Okay, this should so be So you one. see Estelle getting to his feet. Okay, I breathe a sigh of relief and uh, cast a bit. I start saying, uh, just speaking dissonant words and whispering <laughs> angrily <laughs> under my breath. And cast dissonant whispers at uh, the creature again. Cool. Uh, wait, where can I? I think it's a wisdom saving throw. Do you even have a spell slot slot? I have one more second level spell slot. Oh, so you're upcasting it? Yep. Okay. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. Me who is still third level spell slots. <laughs> oh, I still have my third level too. Yeah, I also have two more third levels, so... I just don't want to use them yet. Mm -hmm. Wisdom uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, wisdom save. Yeah, wisdom 15 wisdom save. God damn it. No, no, no but it takes half yet. damage. No, hold on. No. Minus oh. 1d4. Minus 1d4? <laughs> because of nice. Mind Sliver. Oh, right, he hasn't made a saving throw yet. Yes. Mm. Yes! Ah, 14! <laughs> actually, <laughs> fails. Uh, actually, 17. 17 damage. Because no, no, I, I, meant, it. I meant 14. Mm. Uh, ah, okay. No, yeah. 14. But it takes 17. <laughs> yes, it takes 17 damage. damage. It certainly does. And it has to move away from. Uh, it can't move away. Yeah, but away. You know, it can't a wall. really move away. Yeah, but like Actually, it has to try to move hmm. further away from me. <laughs> <laughs> um, ah! Ah! Although it does have the thing where it can, like. Uh, Squelch into a small more, space. More and would that trigger an attack of opportunity? Oh, that would, because it's moving willingly. Yeah. Oh, have I got that? Yeah, so it's trigger two attack attack opportunity opportunity from, from the both of you. Okay, here it comes. Oh. Yeah, it hits. Oh, okay. Blimey. Both rolled a nine. It's only got an AC of seven, guys. <laughs> oh, it does. Okay. But what are you hitting it with? The flaming scimitar again. Then yeah, that's fine. He is eliminated. <laughs> Not sure you hit. Yep. I'm just uh, just in my bits and bobs. Seven. Yep. No worries. Uh, so it splats against the wall. And uh, ceases to move. Uh, several of you is covered in this oil. <laughs> oil, sticky, like, tar stuff. Mm. Um, and that brings this combat to a close. Okay, are we sure that there's any... If there's anything uh, of this thing left, uh, as <laughs> I help Estelle back on his feet. Estelle says, thank you, guys. I will pay you back for for helping me with this. I promise you. 
Like there's right, no need, man. Entry. And again, he's gonna uh, Nosh is gonna like, shake off. Like are you okay? <laughs> like you took a pretty hefty beating there. Like you gave me a real fright when he went down. Christian's not satisfying fighting a puddle. I would go up to the other loot pile and try to see if there is one under it. So how do you do that? Poke it with a flame blade. Yeah. <laughs> Deadly. Uh, hey, hold on. Are you sure it's a good idea to poke a mount, uh, what appears to be a mountain of like uh, leather right. and like stuff with fire? <laughs> Just asking. I could try insulting it. <laughs> uh, be... Or someone could have like a, a big weapon, like a some something with a like I long cable. I can just <laughs> Yeah, that uh, yeah, yeah, probably wouldn't do any damage to treasure. Probably. I'll try using Mage Hand. That's also and an I option. Say, if something comes out of it, I'll slash it with a fire. <laughs> slash it with fire. Weird, yeah. but alright. So I use Mage Hand to try to pick something up small of the, on the pile. Like, just slowly... Okay, so, so what sort of thing are you picking up or trying to? That, that, Anything that prey weighs up to 10 it, pounds. So. Or, or like <laughs> just a box, like a random piece of gold or yeah, something. Yeah, it comes away. It comes away with the mage hand. And I start digging around. I start digging around. Everyone, stay back. I'm gonna dig around and take these out slowly. So I see. Yeah, uh, just just move them along. Just separate the pile. You know, just sparse the pile away so we can see <laughs> through yeah. it. Yeah. So it seems to be random items. Yeah. Okay, no oily coverage. That doesn't seem to be any oil or anything in it, no. Mm. Seems to be a pile of loot. Can I do a perception check? You can do, yes. Mm, I would also look after one. So you can do a perception and uh, like investigation as well. Ah, perception, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Um, one of them or both? Uh, Twelve. Either way, um, it all looks fine. It looks like it's a pile of stuff. So there's a look, looks like a barrel. That looks like a, a shield. Looks now, like now, a... now the barrel's a mimic. <laughs> you know what the best part is? Yep. I still haven't rolled above a ten. <laughs> um, I would go up and look at the shield. The shield? Yeah. Yeah. It, it looks like a, a well-made. Uh, it's like a round Viking type looking shield. Is it magic? Uh, do you know... It, it, can you see magic? Or detect magic? I could... No. I and have a plus I... <laughs> Um, I have no spell that could do that one. Then I have proficiency have no in one? Arcana. I have Seriously? no proficiency No, no one has detect magic? No. Nope. <laughs> Holy shy, I thought you guys would pick up the tech magic. It's like bread and butter, but yeah. okay, I'll, I'll learn it eventually. I didn't I have pick to it up play... because I thought someone would ha have it. Yeah, I have to play around with a very limited <laughs> spell <laughs> the spell variety. It's all good. So, uh, uh, yeah, just uh, continue with what you guys are doing. It's coming up to... I will check hours. to see whatever is going on on the, the, the pile. So, Still, um, so, hang back a little bit with me here, please. So yeah, as you like, look through the pile, um, okay. there's this... Uh, so the things that catch your eye, so it's a, a pile of stuff. Uh, there's a big old, uh, like an, um, a barrel uh, uh, with a cork in it. Uh, there is a shield. There is a, there's a, a little, it looks like a ring, ring-sized case. Um... Have you got any um, detect magic or anything up or not? Not at the moment. Okay. Um, okay. I need eight hours. <laughs> no worries. You're welcome to rest, guys. I'm just saying. Um, but uh, cool. Um, not here, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's um, loose coins. We'll say like twenty-five, um, like silver, silver coins. 
um, 16 copper coins, um, 14 oh. gold coins. They're just in amongst the pile, um, and they look to have uh, they look like they've spilled out of this uh, a chest that has been um, the the catch has been broken. Um, there also seems to be um, a a book, uh, so it's a, a book that has like a, a blue covering on it. Um, uh, okay. But it actually is locked. Uh, it's got like uh, an arcane lock on it as well. I will take it uh, and shove it in my backpack. So um, it's quite it's it, it's like tome size. Um, okay. So just as. So Guys, I, safe? You, you've said like the ring case, shield, book, uh, the coins, and what else did you say? A big old barrel uh, with a cork okay. in it. Uh, uh, I will, I will, I will uh, command Nasha to take a look at the barrel. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, go on then. Like, do the Does command thing. work like that? <laughs> One thing about the shield. Is it metal? Is it metal? Yeah. Um, so it's um, like wooden. It's got like wooden slats across it, and then it's got rings, um, and then riveted in. So it's got metal on it, if that's what you mean. If somebody casts heat metal on this thing, would it damage me? Um, so the the where you hold the shield, it's like leather straps and things. Um, depends on how you hold your shield, but it shouldn't do. Okay. And, okay, I can't see if it's magic. Yep, uh, and so, then there seems to be... Uh, take it anyway, because we will probably need to sell it or something. I'm, I'm already taking notes, yep. and, and if nothing else, yep. I will carry it. And then there's two more items. There's a, a belt of some sort, and then a pair of boots. Does the belt look anything special in the boots? Um, so the belt looks like it's got runes on it. Um, I don't know if anyone speaks dwarves or giant. I speak right, can, I have board, can I have the belt? And I want it because I think I'm the cool. <laughs> um, Hold on. Uh, I speak dwarvish. Okay. Um, so it's a belt of dwarven kind. Oh. That should probably go to Nasher. Um, do people know what She's the one who's, who's, <laughs> I do. I do. I perfectly do. Uh, it's. It should probably go to Nasher. He'll, he'll be the one making more use of it because it gives plus two constitution and some other stuff. But it yeah. raises his AC, raises his health. It's just all around better for him. Okay, cool. I'll look up uh, between the sessions and um, see what I get. Yeah. Uh, and then you have um, some boots with which look like they have tiny little feathers on, uh, like uh, tiny little wings on the side of these boots. Boats um, are flying. Does anybody speak, uh, what would it be, Elvish? I think Elvish. I do. Yeah. I do. Um, then you can see that these are boots of uh, leaping and striding. Oh, yeah. leaping and striding. Yes. I thought they would be boots of flying. Nope. Mm. Uh, basically, these these ones are an attunement item. Mm -hmm. Who uh, they have? Uh, they take off your encumbrance. You don't need. Uh, you aren't mm -hmm. encumbered with them. Also, I think it restores your speed to thirty, which be which would be good for me because my speed is only twenty. Mm. Yeah, I think uh, that would be good because also I wouldn't really. Be... <laughs> I don't know how it would work with me. Like, no conventional... N normal feet. I don't have normal feet like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, just to, um, to... So, yeah. So the, the blue tome that you have um, has, like, what it look, appears to be a jug of water on the front. Um, jug of water? Like, uh, yeah. Like, a stylized uh, jug with, like, um, like, three droplets of water coming out the top of it. Um, that's on the on the front of the cover of the tome. Yeah, I don't recognize it. No, cool. Just to make sure I, I'm giving the the notes correctly. <laughs> but yes. So belt of dwarven kind, boots of sleeping and striding, uh, a shield that we don't know if it's magical, a ring-sized case uh, which I will open and see what's inside. 
Um, so it op well, you open it. It looks like a a copper a band with like a a turquoise gem on it. Um, but you don't with have a to what? a turquoise turquoise gem on it. Turquoise. Turquoise. Okay. Yeah. But um, okay. I don't know if you you haven't got magic on, have you? Like detect magic. On no, magic. I don't. I don't have the detect magic at, at so, on me at the moment. Um, yeah, it looks like an a ring. Yeah. Or I want to. Um... Uh, uh, stand up the brow, take the stopper out, and give it a sniff. Uh, see if I can recognise what might be in. Um, so, you, you give it a sniff, and it smells like, um, like... Black pudding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it smells like, um, like, uh, uh, what would it smell like? Like honey, and, uh, yeah, honey and berries. Ooh. Mead. Mm. Correct. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Lovely, Jabbly. I'm familiar with this scent. Um, so, you, you say one of you spoke dwarvish? There's some dwarvish script on the side of it. Um, okay, I will read it. Uh, yeah, it's it's um, dwarvish mead. Okay. Fuck yes. Well. Um, and, um, like so, that's what it says. Dwarfish mead, uh, brewed in the uh, the uh, North Edge Mountains, um, and it's got like uh, so. The house symbol on it um, is like a cog uh, with a dwarven face on it, um, just for some um, yeah, just for people who are taking notes. Mm. All right. Uh, cool. Yeah, that's uh, that's what you've got. I would take the shield. Cool. I'm clicking this up to get up on my character sheet. Did someone... Uh, you opened the chest, yes? Uh, which chest? The one that... The one gold with the money spilling out. Um, it was all... It, the, 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 the hatch is broken already on it. Um, oh, okay, so, it was all, uh, so it's not just a little bit... It was all of it that spilled out then? Um, okay. No, it's not all spilled out. Um, it's just broken so you can have a look more in the chest if you wish sure so you go to look in the chest and it seems to have a false bottom to it no um and you uh, look under it and it has three um um they look like tiny um silver uh um hammers like like, but tiny. I know this. It's for breaking uh, when you make the toffee. It's a toffee hammer. Whoever was in here. Was toffee there. hammers. I don't know if. Uh, does no Does no one else know what a toffee hammer is? <laughs> What's a toffee hammer? <laughs> It's for it's for breaking toffee when you make toffee because uh, uh, once it settles it goes hard and it's like one big sheet uh, of toffee. So oh. you got these there's this little hammer and you like, strike the toffee to break it up. Huh. Learn something new every day, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Even yeah, when it, there are these three tiny silver right on. hammers in there. Three tiny silver hammers. Yes. What kind of check would it be to That would be a toffee um, It'll be a toffee are... check. If you are position <laughs> in, what would it be? Tool. Uh, that would be uh, jewelry set. Uh, jewelry tools. Uh, yes. Nope. So if you're proficient in being a jeweler, basically. Yep. No idea what they are. Mm -hmm. Toffee hammers. Interesting. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, Nosh is a cook, so he's going to. Um, Oh, uh, fair he's enough. Think it's a <laughs> well, I'm going he's to just going to think toffee hammer. <laughs> I'm so, going to trust your expertise. So as you're looking and, and you've uh, had a closer look at the chest, uh, so it's also got the same uh, cog symbol with a dwarven face on it. Dan, how many copper pieces were there in the chest room? We up back there. I'm uh, sorry. What from this pile or from the other pile? Other pile. So from the other pile, uh, there is, uh, I think I said like seventeen copper pieces on the other one, um, or this one. Uh, 
Okay, there was 25 silver, 20 gold, 17 copper. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm not good with gold. I, like, yep. don't tend to hold on to a lot of gold no for very long. Um, and then also within this uh, chest, um, so next to the three, um, the tiny silver hammers, there's like a, uh, um, uh, like a, not zip bag, a pull bag, a tiny, like, pull bag, um, that has um, on it like a diamond shape, uh, and there's there seems to be stones in it. Tiny silver hammers, pull bag, diamond shape. Um, so me. so it's like uh, like <laughs> <laughs> just for it's like uh, uh, what you would put stones in to keep them safe. Okay. Yeah. Oh, are they no, are they the diamonds one. then? These. Uh... Little um, stones in the. Sure. So uh, you open it, and uh, there seems to be like a handful of um, cut diamonds in there. <laughs> okay. But, um, none of you are proficient in jewels, are you? No. No. Then they are. They look beautiful. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That that's cool. I still was like, hmm. Um, should I hold on to the gems, or um, who wants uh, to hold on to? Profession in restoration magic. Uh, restoration magic? That's I am proficient in. Magic. Okay. Well, yeah, le lesser restoration is the spell I'm looking at. Oh, oh I, I, I uh, could get it, but I don't have it right now. <laughs> um, I, I, I couldn't even get I it. I have revivify. Well, has your character come across the spell before, is what I'm saying. Uh, not really, so I'm still trying to figure out the so, so co spell revivify. components yep, for no worries, Revivify, no so I don't really you know. You don't know what these diamonds are for. That's my problem. Oh, the, the player VG knows what, what you mean now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, don't worry about it. It's a, it's a, it's a immaculately cut diamonds. <laughs> and there's six. And about I can... There's six of and about these. I can... I bet I can guess their total value. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's six of them to to, to put in your notes. Six immaculately cut diamonds. Hmm. Um. Yeah, you haven't explored the room totally yet, so. So, uh, VG, are you holding? Are you holding onto the the diamonds as well? Or, or the gems as well. I'm taking I'm taking notes of basically everything. I mean, who holds it? Uh, it does not make much of a difference, I guess. Fair at enough. Least for these items. We'd be pulling it as a party anyway, so. Yeah, but I, but I have notes on them on my sheet. Okay, cool. Cool. I mean. Uh, yeah. Okay. Do we have everything, or should we do it again? Let me just make an investigation check. I will. I will do it. If someone wants help to help me do mine, hey, I, I rolled a ten. <laughs> um, Which uh, total of thirteen? We rolled a twenty-two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you don't find anything more in this pile, but something twigs in Necromie's mind of the. Uh, yeah, yeah Necromie didn't go down in the corner of the dungeon. Um, who did? Who who went this, down here? This one over yeah. here. Who, who came down here? Not me. Um, that was me. Uh, it's still. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. Um, do you know that Chromie's got a uh, a rod of move earth or not? Was that Molders. information showed? Yeah. Was that um, shared? Yeah, or? I think I think I think it was. I think I said, but I I was holding on to that. Like I I said like. I got this. I'm holding on to yep, it. No problem. Um, so as you guys are looking through the stuff, um, it comes to. Well, it's funny because Thak Thak was the one that that helped me. So yeah, <laughs> it yeah, makes a lot of sense. There you go. It works out. So yeah. So Thak, um, you well actually you're a druid as well, aren't you? So that 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 really does work. So Thak, uh, mm -hmm. you are strangely drawn to the rod, um. That Necromi has, um, and then it twigs within something within you 
to go to go to where you found this <laughs> over here. Okay, so if this is empty, can we just uh, move this piece of earth like away or something? You sure kind can. of make a passage. Okay. <laughs> uh, is the no. because I, I I don't have the description of a rod of move earth. Yep. So if we use it here, it does it like have charges left or something, or it's just used. Um, I know Mulder. I think it's a cantrip, right? It yeah, is a cantrip. Yeah. So um, yeah, but. So, but a, an item that has a cantrip usually has charges, even if it is a cantrip, you know? Yeah. Um, so for this particular item, uh, do you give it to that? Um, not yet, but he said he wants to do to check out something out I'm following. Uh, Isel, I think you're going to use Modorf to make a, a way, right? Yep. <laughs> okay. But um, the throbbing in uh, Thak is really really strong that's what i'm saying <laughs> thak you okay, want that I'll rod give the damn item give to him. yeah that thak you want that rod okay you want it can i have it sure i guess don't use it before we you show me what you mean but yeah here it is. so as you so you touch the rod <laughs> you touch his rod yeah <laughs> um so yeah um <laughs> Literally, the rod seems to glow. So it was um, dormant in Nekromi's hands. Uh, and as soon as he gives it to Thak, um, it glows, like it swirls on it um, in druid druidic. Um, so, so these symbols come on it and it glows like a green. These symbols gl like mm. lights up. Um, and Thak, you can, um, with this rod in hand, you can let me read what I've written. So, rod of move, not the earth elemental. So you can speak primordial. Uh, no, not primordial. Uh, elemental. Uh, you can summon a earth elemental, and you can move earth at will with this rod attuned to you. Okay, I'm taking that what. <laughs> Um, so with it this... don't has charges. No, it doesn't. It's a rod where you need to attune it to you, and then you can do these three things. I try to move the thing to out of the way first. Say that again. Oh, I have to attune to it. You have to attune. Yeah, to I already. I already have. Does it instantly attune to him? Or um, uh, I'm just gonna say yeah. <laughs> Okay. I take it you want it attuned to you, right? Yeah. Then yes. Should I use mold earth here? I guess. Yeah. T take it off your. Wait. For it. Wait take for off. Take, t um, make it attuned to you. Um. I don't know where to put. You just say you're attuned, and that's it, basically. Yeah. You can I mean, to three things, usually is the point. Yeah. I know. Um. That's the shield. Yeah. I have one spell left. Cool. And I would use the rod. Or um, is there something written on it? Written on the rod? or No, the stone, because on you asked stone. me last time if I speak primordial. Yeah, I, I, correct. So you walk up to it, and um, so before you even go to read it or anything, it you, like the whole rock rumbles. Um. And then it, uh, let me actually select it properly. <laughs> so uh, no, the whole okay. rock, um, it seems to part for you as if you were Moses in the Red Sea. <laughs> but it's Earth. That's fucking weird. But it's Earth. It seems to... Okay, so is this a kind of a new pathway? It certainly is. To a new part of the dungeon? Hey, don't go out there yet. <laughs> is this a good this idea? A new... like... Hold on. Is this a new part of the dungeon? Um, it seems we to should be. rest yes. before we go into it. Okay, so what I'm, what I'm proposing is, not only because we have the end of the session, 
but yeah. uh, because I have to go. Yeah. But also because you guys are beaten down, not a problem that Necromy ever faces. <laughs> uh, but because you guys are beaten not down, that I Necromy suppose, only gets in danger. <laughs> I have an AC higher than you. Shut up. <laughs> uh, and uh, I, Necromy will just go. Fuck! You should put the stone where it was, and we should take a rest. These guys really need it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, Still, either um, way, um, so good, good call. And Nasha took a beating. Yeah, good call. I was going to wrap it up before you go to the next map anyway. So, that's cool. Before but we end, back, do you want a short or long rest? Short. We can't long rest in a dungeon, I guess. I mean, we could, we could but uh, it wouldn't make sense. Okay, before you, you want decide, me to use that Yeah, before you decide, Thack, is that stone coming back or not? Yeah. I just move it back there. <laughs> cool. So that entrance is blocked again by the earth. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then you guys decide if you want a long rest or a short rest. Decide now, okay. so I can sort that out for later. If you want to feel protected, technically we can take all this dirt and move it over here now and uh, block. That. Well, that, that would be an awesome idea. Literally, that can move earth as he pleases. We could go up and so, make okay. a long rest there. Uh, sure. What I'm meaning by that is we still have to go down with the heads and such and give them out. I mean, if you guys don't mind doing that, quote unquote, tomorrow in game, sure, we could go, th go do that. I still would have to go like upwards and get all the heads and bring them down, but that's just a minor inconvenience. Fine. Heads aren't going to rot away in a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's going to take at most half an hour, I assume. Is okay, so... Now well. the heads, I suppose that Estelle complies, and the heads are now in this corner no, over here. No, 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 they, they are where they are. Uh, so, so you've actually, did you go around and do that, yes? Yes. Hmm. Okay, so, yeah. So you've piled up your heads, you, you've, you're bedding down for a long rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. makes sense yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm just... Uh, Making sure I've got it right. Cool. Um, and are these heads combined with the other heads? Yeah, I assume so. He got all of them. Cool. All the heads. <laughs> all the heads. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. Well, that's 20 plus 19 or 17. I can't remember. Please remember. <laughs> no, the goblin's down here. How many goblins did we get down here again? Can you count? <laughs> yeah, I count, but I keep a different number. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 20 plus 19. So 20, uh, 10 plus 19. So I, 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 20 plus 19. Sorry, my brain. Don't worry. <laughs> I just came back from being sick. It's so. okay, it's okay. Well, there should be tw uh, 40 altogether. Oh, 40? 40 goblins. No, there... Yeah. there There isn't one because I fried it. That's true. Oh, right. That's what happened. So, someone said, go easy on them. And, and Necromy just said, just what is easy? One, yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's, yeah. where the, that's where the missing one is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Love it. Um, so, there should be 40. There is not 40. There is... There's 39. 39. Yeah. Um, and we're protected by these mounds of earth, and we're taking a long rest. Brilliant. Okay. Um, um, should we what put up a watch? Do is we'll regardless. Do, we'll do the. We'll, uh, did you say you have to go, VG, or can we do the leveling up now? I can't. Wait, Ooh. we're leveling up? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh, I mean. My other game didn't start yet. I have to get ready, but I can spend some time here, like 15 minutes or so. Um, okay. And well, I'll prepare the let's magic. Get the, let's get this underway then. Okay, so um, you're doing a long rest. You've just done two dungeons. Technically one, but two. <laughs> um, and you... Da, da, da. So you can be putting your health back to where... It, full rest uh, a level up because you're going to need it so you should be level sevens now 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you figure mm-hmm. out why I have to modify everything? <laughs> So that's um, a D8. Average, right? Yes. I gain two new spells. Ooh, seven. Good one. Oh, alright. What happened? What happened with uh, <laughs> Something lagged. My computer lagged out for some reason. Uh, Average. Oh, nice. Plus eight. Nice. Uh, 49 plus eight. 57. Did I roll? Yeah, it rolled a four, of but rolled average. All right. It didn't roll, roll. It just averaged. I just rolled uh, a d8. Yeah. Um. What's your, what's the styles um health? D6. Then D6. Fine. That's fine. Yeah. I have forty six HP. Ah. 76. No new wild shape nice. options, but a new. Do I mitigate detect magic right now, or should so, I do it? So, I, to... so I have it. Up, do a bit of oh. role play of you know what you just went through, what you're doing. Um, talk to each other about your like what skills to take. Yeah. This is okay. So he, here's the thing, uh, and I'm I'm talking this uh, about uh, in in player voice, so we can kind of speed it up. Yeah. Uh, but basically, Necrom is a wizard. If you guys want to pull money so he can learn uh, identify, comprehend languages, and uh, and uh, detect magic, he can do all three of those as rituals, which would be the best for the party because they don't spend spell slots, and it's just. And I don't even need to prepare it. I just need to note them on my spell book, you know? Um, but yeah, I can also understand if you guys don't want to do that. Uh, but I mean, I will certainly be pulling money myself into uh, eventually learning those as rituals. But if you guys want to take them now, you can also do that. Okay, I currently have 100 gold, 120, you know what, 25, we have 20 gold, 25 silver, 17 gold, 17 copper we gained from this dungeon, and pure money. And for everything else, we all each have 100. It's really up to you guys. Uh, I, I... Oh, wait, no, it's 50 I... gold. My bad. I made, I made a mistake in the math. I could I... learn identify, but... I have to detect magic now. As I said, um, very few, very few uh, spells that I can learn. I will sell the splint armor, and that t- if I can sell uh, the armor for the same price that it uh, goes to, I can probably get two of those, which will probably probably be detect magic and uh, identify, or cool. um, and, and 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 comprehend languages comes next because it's not quite a priority. But uh, there's nowhere to trade it because you're in the dungeon. But um, cool. Yes, uh, but I meant later. Yep. No worries. It still is very. So, what I'm saying is, you guys should learn fourth level spells. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because. Okay. Because you just got a fourth level spell slot, and if you don't have a fourth level spell, it doesn't make sense, you know, to have a fourth. Yeah. I mean, you could upcast something, but upcasting is not that great, at least with most stuff. I'm right now adding one. Cool. I add one. I add the 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 essential dimension door. Dimension door is pretty good. So since we're also doing a long rest in amongst you doing the level levels up, um, what sort of rations or food are you eating? I have rations, I think. Okay. I also have rations. Well, like Probably some rice. jerky and oh, yeah. some dried the food. Nosher can just cook for us. Uh, he said so. Yeah, yeah, we got yeah. we got plenty of uh, goblin legs. Uh, they good eating. I, I like a role play so. Um, Where's my notes? <clears throat> he goes, well we, well, we got some goblin legs, right? You've got lots of water here. And I got a couple of uh, bouquet garnies, right? Just put one of those in, boil up some goblin legs, comes out lovely. 
I'm not going to eat goblin legs. <clears throat> not in my life, ever. Give me a it's second. Actually, it's actually surprisingly tender. I don't care. <laughs> I I have enough of this smell in my nose that I probably won't get it out for for like the next month or so. It reeks. It's disgusting. Like I don't want to put that in my mouth. I'm sorry. I'll rather stick to jerky. <laughs> yeah. Also, I just want to say about um, this uh, belt I've been given. I've looked it up. So you've got this bugbear, which is a hairy character, mm -hmm. uh, with the bear totem, which makes them extra hairy. Now I've got this thing that makes me grow a full and glorious beard, so I'm triple hairy now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I looked like Chewbacca before, but now <laughs> I'm back I look like beard. Cousin It yep. from the Adams Family. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> Do you want to tell us what else your magnificent belt does? I, I got it up. Uh, right, so it increases my constitution by two. I have um, uh, advantage on uh, persuasion checks made against dwarves. Um, yeah, when I, once I'm attuned to it, I have a fifty percent chance each day of growing a full and glorious beard. <laughs> and also now I've got um, saving throws against being poisoned, a resistance to poison. Uh, I already had dark vision, uh, and I can speak, read, and write dwarvish. There we go. <laughs> I got the spell Guardian of Nature. <laughs> Is that good? A natural spirit answers your call and transforms you into a powerful guardian. The transformation lasts until the spell ends. You choose one of the following forms to assume. Primal beast okay, is that dream. good? <laughs> the first thing is that you are stronger and as uh, dark Is it good enough? <laughs> it's good enough. <laughs> Also, uh, don't forget to put the other bits you got from the Earth Rod. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's a spell card. Okay, so I could choose either Wall of Fire, which is an amazing control spell. Yep. Yeah, that'd be. I could choose uh, Sickening Radiance, which is also a great control spell, but it. Uh, What's the name? The idea is you have to hold people in place, and then you cast Sickening Radiance, and it's just it just demolishes people. Um, Phantasmal Killer is also a pretty good one. Um, I'm getting great in, great in invisibility, and I'm thinking of getting Banishment. Nice. So I think I'm going either Banishment, Sickening Radiance, or Wall of Fire. What do you guys think? I would go for I would go for Wall of Fire, honestly, if I was Banishment. Uh, knowing what I do about this world, Banishment seems a good option. Oh yeah, could be a game ender for some things. Yeah, because if some creatures like um, like Necronomy, they're like um, not from this world. If you use Banishment, uh, they don't disappear for a time. They just completely vanish back to their original plane. Um, you <laughs> you know that it, it is only if they are from other planes, not if we if I am from other planes, right? Well, you are, but um, I, I'm saying when you, I'm saying like you, if someone is from another oh, okay. plane. Technically, I'm not not from another plane. It's another dimension, but you know, oh, same difference. Come on. <laughs> no, it's not. Not not in D and D, but you know. <laughs> but um, by the way, I just had a thought. Once you increase your um, so basically, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to make a a, a broader question then. Because I'm already taking great inv invisibility, uh, mm -hmm. so should we worry about? Should we worry more about uh, taking like a lot of things, or just like one thing in specific? Should we worry more about like taking on one thing or a lot of things? Uh, I'm taking a bunch of control stuff. I swapped out uh, Bane for uh, for command. And I took um, ba, 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 what's you know, it called? Command is a 
it only targets one. It's a first level. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, and then I took uh, Polymorph. As oh, my, if, if you're taking as Polymorph, my fourth level. It's, it's basically the same as, as Banishment, but maybe yeah. even better. Yeah. Because it can... It, it's a, such a versatile spell, I can mm -hmm. cast it on allies, on enemies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Polymorph is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Oh, um, wait. Tonight, oh, I'm supposed to gain spells. Oh crap! Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, I think I'm getting sickening radiance. Cool. Uh, no, I'm my no, my character is supposed to gain spells when he levels up because yeah. of. <laughs> Don't forget yeah. that. So I need, so I need to do that real quick. Uh, give me a second while I figure out how to do that. Yeah. Right. Uh, um, once you increase your charisma, uh, not charisma, um, constitution, for your HP, that's retroactive, isn't it? Yes. Oh goody! You gain you gain one HP for each level, also because you of constitution, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Your constitution mod increased by one, so you gain one more HP for each level. So you you are extra beefy now. Yeah, that means my he max HP is um eighty two. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm like variant. What would now? you expect? Okay, I need um um Dan. Can you help me with this real quick? Yeah. Should I go like, for the summoning? For, so what do you need help with? It, um, for some reason, when I leveled up, my character didn't get the two new spells I needed. What two new spells do you need? Um, uh, you need to go into the. Wait, well, what uh, we can are do you in is, Indie Beyond? Uh, we can wrap up the um the stream here, because uh, you've got some new art as well, don't you? I am. Uh, well, not really. Not new art. I'm this. This character still. Yeah, well, it's new. Anyway, we'll sort out your spells and your your token and everything for. Next but yeah, session, uh, this one, so. I agree that we switch off the stream. Yeah, yep. wrap and it then up it's here. like finish. Uh, thank you everybody for stopping yep. by, and uh, we'll be here next time. <laughs> yep. Uh, thank you everybody. Yep. Bye. 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 Edwards Black Tentacles.